Hi, welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for December 2022. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in three minutes or less. All right, we start off with some roll-up blog posts. We've got one listing out some of the top blog posts of 2022 that includes the performance blog posts as well as release blog posts for MAUI, .NET 7, and C Sharp 11. We've also got a blog post listing the top videos of the year, and that includes uh, .NET Conf as well as on .NET and, and our top live streams. We updated the podcast application for .NET 7, and uh, this blog post digs into some of the top features and updates in that, including uh, some things to take advantage of updates for minimal APIs, container support, and playwright testing. There's a preview of ML.NET out with support for Intel's One API Data Analytics Library. And the Polyglot Notebooks uh, update includes support for .NET 7, C Sharp 11, and F Sharp 7. There's an update in the series for migrating ASP.NET applications to ASP.NET Core. This one digs into some of the updates for things like uh, MVC controller and API controller updates, support for areas, and uh, just quality improvements for existing features. There's a lot of neat stuff for .NET developers in the second preview of v Visual Studio 2022 17.5. So that includes productivity improvements, also includes some great stuff for dev tunnels, including uh, UI improvements. Uh, and then there's also support for some things that were available before using some extensions and now are getting included in Visual Studio. So that includes Markdown, uh, quick add files, and sticky scroll. In the communities, some neat things. Uh, first of all, the Octoverse shows the, uh, the Octoverse report from GitHub shows that C Sharp has moved up to number five, which is cool. There's an update from the .NET MAUI Community Toolkit with a lot of neat stuff, including expander view and doc layout. And a community post from the UNO team listing out some top things, uh, top highlights from MVPs across the community. Okay, that's all I've got for you this month. Hope your year is off to a great start and I'll catch you in a month.